Hi everybody, Dr. Biology here and this is for AQA GCSE Combined Science Biology Foundations here, paper one and two, and this is your advanced material for the 2022 exam and particularly about what you need to know. So the advanced material information sent out by AQA recently, um, you need to know that the structure of the exam is exactly the same. So exactly the same type of questions you'd expect to see. Some six mark questions, some lower mark questions. But particularly what they're going to tell you is the major focus topics. So what does that mean? Well, that means um, that's where most of the marks are. OK, so they're going to be... Um, looking at that and then they're going to tell you which required practicals will be assessed so um, any other required practicals you don't really need to know and then minor focus topics so those are basically lower mark questions they're still important and they may raise your level so it's important to still revise the minor focus topics they also are telling you, though, that the topics that won't be assessed, so will not be assessed. So what that means is they will not be in your exam, either paper one or paper two. So it's important you know which ones those are so you don't go away and revise them. So um, your teachers might mention specification codes to you. Uh, you can actually find those if you Google AQA combined science spec codes and it's in this booklet now this booklet is really designed for teachers but uh, it's useful to look at the subject content and it's useful to see there's the spec codes for cell structure for example and animal and plant cells okay so let's get on to the main event here which is what is going to be in the exam so which topics so um, I'll explain this to you. So what I've got on the left hand side are all the topics. So that's for paper one. Then could be on the paper, the small number of marks, the minor focus, the major focus. So that's the most important thing you need to revise. And then the required practicals that will be examined. And then particularly topics not assessed. So those things you don't need to do. Now, I will say for foundation tier paper one, there is not a lot being taken out at all. OK, um, you're going to have to revise quite a bit for paper one, but Dr. Biology can help you with that. Um, and we'll talk about that in a bit. So first of all, um, you'll notice in cells or cell biology, you, you won't be examined on osmosis. So that includes the required practical. I think most of you use potato tissue, so that won't be in an active transport. But what will be in is um, a major focus is cell division. So that's related to mitosis, DNA and chromosomes, spelling mistake there, cell cycle, mitosis, stem cells. Cell structure will also be in there and also diffusion, but that's a minor topic you will need to know how to use a microscope. Organisation, again, the, um, hardly anything is taken out, so only coronary heart disease, but there'll be a major focus on digestive system, enzymes, heart, blood vessels, blood, health and risk factors and cancer. The plant stuff will be a minor focus, so you just need to learn some keywords there. So know what transpiration is, know what translocation is, being able to label the parts of a leaf, for example. Um, you will need to know your food tests, okay? So that will be the Benedict's test for sugars, Burette test for proteins, and the emulsification test for lipids. Again, if you don't know that very well, do check out my videos for the required practicals on dot biology. Um, infection and response. This is quite a big section. So basically, they're going to assess the whole thing. And in fact, notice that it is in the major focus. So this topic, infection and response, you need to spend quite a bit of time revising because this is going to be a major part of paper one. OK, big difference, though. The last thing, bioenergetics, half of bioenergetics will not be examined. So do not revise anything to do with respiration. What you do need to know is about photosynthesis, the equation, the word equation, and measuring the rates of photosynthesis Look, using the practical, which is the pondweed practical, and that's going to be a major focus there in that section. Right, okay, so uh, this is not really helpful. This is actually from AQA, from your exam board. So what I've done is I've done a checklist. That checklist I'm going to tell you about in a bit, and that's on my website. 
So here we go, paper two. Um, they've taken a lot more out of paper two, as you can see. So let's talk about homeostasis and response first. So you can see there's nothing on the nervous system, nothing on menstrual cycle, FSH, LH, nothing like that. Nothing about contraception. So what it is about is glands. So maybe labeling the glands, um, knowing about blood glucose levels. So understanding how um, diabetes occurs. So how, what are the major symptoms and how do you um, relieve diabetes? So injection of insulin, for example. Variation, inheritance and selection. So you still need to know about the structure of the DNA and the genome. You need to be able to do inheritance. So genetic terms you need to know. You need to be able to do some crosses. So using Punnett squares, genetic disorders. So that's polydactyly and cystic fibrosis. And embryo screening is there as well. But you can see there's a lot of stuff not there as well. Um, minor focus you do still need to understand darwin's theories okay you need to understand fossils and classification as well ecology so all ecology definitions biotic and abiotic factors food chains predator prey carbon cycle and that's about it okay you will need to know the required practical you might remember estimating populations with a quadrat for example but there's quite a large section of work not involved there which is things like adaptations, which is a shame. I like adaptations. Uh, global warming, maintaining biodiversity. Okay, so as you can see, there is a lot more in paper two that has been taken out. As you can see in this list, topics not assessed. Now, in my checklist that I'm gonna show you in a minute, I've actually given you a checklist that removes all of these things. So it doesn't confuse you. It tells you exactly what you need to revise for each paper. And here it is. So you can download this from www.drbiology.uk and I'll put the link in the information down below this video. Um, and as you can see, what I've done is I've highlighted the major focus areas in grey. OK, and the less important stuff is in white. OK, and, it just, and I've taken out the stuff that is not assessed. So here we go. There's my website. Um, if you can't find the stuff, I've done another video to show you how to find the stuff that will help you. And there's some resources. I've even included some exam packs as well for foundation tier. Okay, so hopefully that will help you. Okay, take care. See you soon.